Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to go over web hosting and I'm going to show you how to set up your domain name and your hosting through SiteGround.com. SiteGround is uh, my preferred hosting right now as I have all of my websites going through them and they are just phenomenal. Their customer service is spot on. They have a 24-hour chat line which literally means you can contact them in the middle of the night and they will take care of you. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee and just any, every need that you have more than likely they'll be able to help you out. So, all right, let's get right into it. Okay. First thing we're going to do is head over to siteground.com and this is what the homepage will look like uh, if you're visiting the site right now, but uh, they might update it later, so it might look a little bit different, but I assume everything will look relatively the same, like the navigation bar and stuff like that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and show you what I am personally using at this moment and give you an idea of what you need to do to get set up. So. Right off the bat, there's two ways of getting signed up. On the main homepage, uh, there's this slider right here and it has the sign up button. You can click on that and that'll take you to the shared hosting account. But if it's different down the road, then you can go up here on the, the menu bar and where it uh, says shared hosting, you can click on that. If you're just getting started out, uh, you're gonna wanna go with the shared hosting, but um, if you are already an established blogger and you're pulling in 50, 100,000 visitors a month, you might want to look a little bit more into the cloud hosting or the dedicated servers. But for right now, uh, most of you guys, shared hosting will do just fine. So after you do shared, click on the shared hosting, it's going to go ahead and take us in. And there's three different options that you can choose from. The startup plan, grow big, and go geek. Now, each of these have their, their pros and their cons. So the startup plan, the biggest con that they have is it's only one website. That means you cannot add on any other websites outside of a subdomain. So I personally have about 20 different websites that I host. So what I use right now is the go or the grow big plan. Now this has unlimited websites, which is perfect for what I need. Okay. And then the last one is the go geek plan. Uh, the go geek, since this is shared hosting, what they do is they put their most expensive plan, obviously, and they have the fewest number of, of people on that server. So instead of having, let's say, 10,000 websites on the startup website server, the Go Geek plan might only have 8,000 websites. So it's pulling a lot less resources, therefore it's gonna make your website a little bit faster. And if you want, obviously, if you want more uh, faster than that, you can look into the cloud hosting, uh, virtual private servers, or the dedicated servers. But for today, um, I'm setting up a website for my buddy, so we're just going to use the startup plan right now because he is just a uh, single-person operation. So we go in here. Okay, and then the next screen we have here is where you choose your domain. Now, I have already picked his domain name for him and purchased it through uh, my own uh, account, but I strongly recommend for, for brand new bloggers to just go ahead and get the domain and the hosting all at the same time in the same spot. It reduces the technical jargon and know-how that you have to have to get this set up. So if you just go ahead and get your domain name through SiteGround, that'll make things so much easier and you will thank yourself later. Um, but if you have your own domain, uh, in this video or another video, I'll show you how to set up your name servers to where um, you can get it directed to SiteGround. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is uh, just go ahead and I'm, I already have a domain, so I'm just going to type in the domain name. And then when you're done, click proceed. 
and I hit a little hiccup here because it looks like I didn't have um, or I had an extra space at the end. So make sure there's no spaces at the end and you should be good to go. Okay, the next screen that pops up is the, um, the account information. So essentially you just have to enter your email, your passwords, your billing information, all the important stuff that, you know, they got to get paid. So after you enter all that stuff in, you're going to click the pay now. And one thing I want to recommend before I uh, move on is you have an introductory rate for all of the SiteGround plans. So that $395, $595, or $1195, depending on which plan you went with, um, that is the introductory rate until the period is over. So what I did is I went ahead and um, I set up my buddy's account for 36 months. And he did the startup plan. So for 36 months, he locks in that $395 uh, rate. Um, if you only do like a 12 month lease after 12 months, the promotional rate is no longer available. And then you're going to have to pay the regular rate. And this isn't like, uh, the cable companies where you can call them up and say, Hey, I want to, uh, get my promotional rate back and bicker with them and fight. Um, th this, this is a, a set thing. So, I strongly recommend that you uh, go ahead and if you're serious about this, go ahead and lock in that rate for as long as you can because at $4 a month or $5 or $4 a month or $6 a month or $12 a month, those are pretty, pretty uh, cheap rates and uh, I can only imagine that those rates are going to go up in the future. So then you also have uh, two of the other extra services that they provide is the website transfer and the SS or the SG uh, site scanner. Uh, the website transfer that is essentially if you already have a website on another domain and you want to transfer it over, um, then they will do that for you at no cost. I believe that is only eligible for the Grow Big and the Go Geek plan. I don't think the startup plan, is, that's allowed anymore. Um, and then you have the SG Site Scanner. And what this does is it's a little computer that runs in the background of your website all day. And every day it looks to see if there's any malware or if your site's getting hacked. So if you want to go ahead and check that box, it, it'll just give you some peace of mind that uh, somebody's looking after your site for, you know, 24 hours a day. All right. And then after we are done, we came to the, uh, your account is successfully created. So we're going to go ahead and proceed to the customer area. Okay, so now we're going to come in here, and um, this is where they run their little setup wizard. Um, you have a couple different options that you, you can do. You can start a new website, transfer a website, or you don't need help right now. Um, if you have another website somewhere else already, um, then you can click that transfer website. It'll have a little questionnaire on you know how to... The, some information that they need to, to get that website transferred. But uh, for today's purpose, we are just going to go ahead and start a new website. And then what you're going to want to do is I strongly recommend WordPress. Um, WordPress is powering over, I think it's 35% of the internet. So that means more than one out of every three websites you go to um, it's going to be run on the WordPress uh, content management system. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select WordPress down here. And then I'm going to enter my admin email, uh, username, password. And you're going to want to make sure that your password is uh, pretty strong. Uh, they won't let you get away with it if it's uh, a weak password. So... After you're done, let's go ahead and hit that confirm button. And 
and all right here we are and we have uh, set up our website and so as we're talking your website will be going ahead and uh, getting started in the background uh, but again they want to uh, see if you want that uh, sg site scanner I personally don't use it because I have a couple other plugins that I use to uh, look after my site. But again, like I said, if you want to go ahead and use that for your peace of mind, by all means, $20 a year isn't going to break the bank. So, Okay, after we're done, we're going to go ahead and uh, confirm that we don't want the site scanner, and then we got to complete the setup. Okay, and as this is uh, churning and turning, uh, it'll be done here shortly. And this is where they are setting up that WordPress in the background. So, yay, we have completed it. And that's it. We uh, set up the account, and in the next video, I will show you how to get into the back end of WordPress and get thing some more stuff set up. I'll see you in the next video.